Good morning. Good morning. Everybody take a deep breath. You made it. <laughs> President Carol Barrow Joseph, assembled before you are the candidates for degree, their families and friends, distinguished guests, our faculty and staff, members of the administration, our alumni. I request your permission now to open the proceedings of the 54th commencement exercise of Bronx Community College. We ask that the audience remain standing for the U.S. National Anthem and for the invocation. I request, I request that all cell phones be turned off or put on vibrate for the duration of this program. Loretta Hawkman Reed will now sing the U.S. National Anthem accompanied on keyboard by Professor Monique Renee Briggs. for the invocation <laughs> delivered by our campus minister, Reverend James C. Sheehan. How good it is when brothers and sisters dwell in unity. They forgot to mention this one last exam question. I think you will answer it well. How many want to be in love? <laughs> and now I will read you a poem about love, which I honestly read every morning when I get to campus. Nothing is more practical than finding love and the foundation of that love, which means falling in love in an absolute final way. What you are in love with 
what seizes your imagination will affect everything and everyone. It will decide what will get you out of bed in the morning, what you will study, what you do with the evenings, how you will spend your weekends, what you will read, what you will text, what you know, and yes, what breaks your heart, what amazes you with joy and gratitude. Fall in love, stay in love, and it will decide everything. May this college continue the study of love. May you who have been blessed by this beautiful weather and beautiful families continue to learn about love. Amen. Thank you. Audience, please be seated. We ask that you remain in your seats during the ceremony so we can ensure safety for all to move around through the exercise as quickly as possible. And now, it really gives me great pleasure, I mean really great pleasure, to present Dr. Carol M. Barak Joseph, the president of Bronx Community College. Good morning. And to Reverend Sheehan, I say thank you for launching this landmark occasion with words that inspire our minds and move our hearts. Thank you. And to the rest of you, I say, welcome, bienvenida, bienvenue, shalom. I could go on like this all morning. 36 different languages are spoken by those of you who are graduating today. So instead, I will simply say welcome to the 54th commencement exercises of Bronx Community College. <laughs> welcome to the family, friends, and well-wishers here with us today. Your loving support is a big reason why someone very special to you will soon be crossing the stage to receive their well-earned diplomas. Welcome to the educational community and community leaders who by their presence here show their commitment to the cause of education for all. Special welcome to Terrence Martell, trustee of the City University of New York. <clears throat> and Vice Chancellor Gloriana Waters. Welcome to United States Senator and loyal friend to BCC, Charles Schumer. Welcome to our Assemblyman, Assemblyman Pachado. Welcome faculty and staff members who are the mentors, facilitators, advocates, handholders, and beloved teachers to our hardworking students. Welcome to the BCC Alumni Association seated in these front rows. We are about to send you some new recruits. And finally, welcome those for whom this day is all about. Welcome to the visionary dreamers, those relentless strivers, those admirable achievers, those of you I call BCC's scholars. the Bronx Community College Class of 2014. Welcome. Your presence here today is dramatic proof of the power of education to transform lives. Indeed, to transform generations of lives, because many of you 
are the first in your families to earn a college degree. But from the many children I see here today, watching their mothers and fathers at this proud moment, I know that you will not be the last. I want to tell you some things about you. There are 1,400 of you graduating this semester. The youngest, the youngest is 19. 29% of you are 30 or older. And the most senior of you is 77. So it is never too late. Now, there's someone who believes in lifelong learning. You come from 53 countries, from every continent on Earth except Antarctica. 63% <laughs> of you are women. So, so, the math majors have already figured it out. That means how many men do we have? 37%. The most popular major in your class is liberal arts. 32% will be getting a diploma in that field. 21% of you are in business and information systems. And 12% are going into criminal justice. And from what I read in the papers, unfortunately, you'll never be short of work. 28% of you have the admirable distinction because you are veterans of our nation's armed forces. I ask the veterans to please stand. We want to thank you for your service to America. Thank you for your service to America and for bringing that same dedication to your career at BCC. And by the way, 105 of you are members of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. <laughs> but what we notice most about you today are the things that you all have in common. You all share that special combination of passion and purpose, professionalism, that sums up the word graduate. So I want to be the first to say, you're going to hear a lot of this throughout the day, but congratulations. Felicidades a todos. Thank you, President Barrett Joseph. Graduates, a number of distinguished guests who are with us today will bring you some greetings and good wishes. I present before you a trustee of the City University of New York, a strong supporter of higher education, and a good friend of Bronx Community College. Please join me in welcoming Trustee Terrence F. Martell, who will bring greetings from the City University of New York Board of Trustees. Good morning. What a great day to be here. Yes? I'm very proud to be speaking to you, and I'm very proud to be joining you today. President Joseph, Vice Chancellor Waters, keynote speaker Sid Wilson, Val Victorian Afra Abbas, <laughs> faculty members, families, friends, and most importantly of all, you the Bronx Community College graduating class of 2014. It is my great pleasure to be with you this morning to bring greetings and congratulations on behalf of the Board of Trustees of the great university, the City University of New York. As both a trustee and president of the University Faculty Senate, of this great university, one of my most rewarding responsibilities that falls on me is to be present at commencement exercises like this. 
I am reminded that you, our students, are the energy force for the future, the future of our city, our state, and our nation. I am particularly pleased as a sense I am, in a sense, I'm coming home. I spent the first 18 years of my life exactly one block that way, and if this tent was down, you could see my apartment house. As a child, I played in the Hall of Fame. I knew it well. And I had a dream that one day I would be there myself. The kind of dream a child has as he runs around and sees famous names and beautiful bronze statues. Why can't it be me? Well, my career did not rise to the level of excellence that would get me a place in that Hall of Fame for great Americans. But maybe yours will. Okay? Wouldn't that be a great dream, a dream really worth dreaming? To have a graduate of Bronx Community College over there in the Hall of Fame of Great Americans. So get busy, get started. <laughs> Class of 2014, please remember that your education has come at the hands of thoughtful people who approach what they do with intelligence and integrity. I would like to thank President Joseph and the Bronx Community College dedicated faculty and administration for the exemplary work in guiding you through this academic process. And as a faculty member myself at Baruch College, I would like you to join me in acknowledging the great work your faculty did to bring you where you are today. So faculty... <laughs> there are many of you here today who have come from other countries to pursue your dreams. In fact, I am told that you hail from 53 countries and speak 35 languages plus English. So that's the 36 we heard before. <laughs> Class of 2014, Val Victorian, Afra Abbas story will resonate with some of you. She, she grew up in Yemen, a country where most communities believe that when a girl is capable of reading and writing, her rightful place is still at home and not at school. She came to the United States in 2009, and after many, many struggles, today she stands here with you to, reserve, to deserve and earn her degree. You've come a long way, Afra. Please keep on achieving. We salute you. Class of 14. You are all inspiring examples of how to overcome obstacles. I know that for many of you, the path you chose to earn your degree was not an easy one. Many of you may be the first in your family to earn a degree, and you should be very, very proud of your achievement. Think how far you've come and how far you will go. We are all very, very proud of your success. However, few achieve great success without help. We especially thank all the family members here this morning for, for your enduring support for the class of 2014, and a round of applause for them as well, please. You began a journey when you entered Bronx Community College. Today you've attained your degree because of your hard work, dedication, and most of all, your perseverance. You are on your way to success, and I salute you. Be proud of yourself, but always remember to keep on learning. Congratulations and Godspeed on your journey through life. Thank you very much. Thank you, Trustee Martel. I would now like to invite Honorable Charles Schumer, U.S. Senator, to bring greetings. Well, thank you very much. It's great to be here. First, I want to compliment President Barat Joseph, the faculty, 
the staff, all the way down to the people who keep the place clean late at night. You have made BCC, Bronx Community College, an outstanding, outstanding college here in New York City. So job well done. Now it's my honor to address the members of the platform, the family and friends of the graduates, but most of all, you, the class of 2014 BCC. Congratulations. Now first, I'd like to announce my class gift. As you know, it's hard to pay for college. If you're poor, the federal government helps you out. That's a good thing. But what about the middle class? So, I wrote a law a few years ago that said you or your parents, whoever paid for college, could take as a full tax credit up to $2,500 off on your federal taxes to help defray the cost of tuition. Right? Provided, there's always a provided in Washington, provided your family income is below $200,000 a year. So, for those of you who come from families that make below 200000 a year, make sure you take that credit. Last year, a third of all the people who were entitled didn't do it, but if you forgot in a previous year, you can file a form with the IRS and get up to $2,500 back for last year, too. Now, what happens to those of you who come from families who make above $200,000 a year. God bless you. I'd like to say a word to the moms and dads. I know how you feel, because a few short years ago, my wife Iris and I sat where you did and watched our daughter Jessica get her diploma. It was one of the greatest days of our life. And you probably think back to the tough times. It's not so easy these days being a parent. We thought back to when Jessica was four months old, had 106 and a half fever. We had to rush her to the hospital. We weren't sure she'd make it, but praise God she did. We, we remembered when she was five and we put her on the kindergarten bus for the first time. And as the bus pulled away, she ran to the back of the bus, waved goodbye, tears streaming down her little cheek. But then, when, she, when the bus returned and Iris met her at two o'clock, she jumped off the bus, happy as could be. She said, Mommy, I came back. <laughs> when we talked to her, we realized what she thought. She thought we were putting her on the bus and that was it. New family, new neighborhood, new everything. Then we remember Jessie as a teenager, where she didn't say much to us. And when she did, we didn't understand a word she said. And then mom's dad's, you see your sons and daughters get that diploma and become an adult before your very eyes. Congratulations to the moms and dads. And President Barat Joseph mentioned this about the graduates here, but as we speak, there are young men and women, many of them your age from this community, overseas in Iraq and Afghanistan, defending our freedom. Let's have a round of applause for them. Okay, now to this great class, BCC 2014. You're graduating with two major advantages. First, your education. Only about a third of all students your age will get a college degree. And many of those who do will not get as good an education as you did here at BCC. So the first thing you're graduating with is a really good education, which gives you a head start. Second, you're the first generation to grow up amidst all this new technology. In 1988, maybe some of you were born in that year. There was no Facebook and no Google and no Twitter, no email, no text messaging, no LOLs, no selfies. In 1994, when some of you may have been toddlers, there were just 12 websites on the World Wide Web. That's it. You go on the web, you can only go 12 places. Now there are 14 billion. And that shows you how quickly technology is changing our world. 
And you know, your parents, your teachers, me, the older generation, we try to get used to this technology, but it's hard for us. We're learning it as adults. But you, you were born into it. Technology is to your generation as water is to a fish. You've been swimming in it your whole life. So the fact that you've gotten this great education here at BCC, and the fact that you're the first generation to grow up amidst all this new technology means one thing. Now's the time. Think of your dream, even if it's hard to get to. Then reach high for it. See if you can achieve it. Reach deep down inside yourself. See if what you're made of. See if you can get to that dream. My advice to the class of 2014 is very simple. Go for it. Now, now sometimes you'll make the wrong choice. But if my experience is any indication, you'll pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and move forward. But if you make the right choice, with a lot of hard work, a little luck, some prayer, your life will be enriched forever. Now, I learned these things myself. When I was seated at college graduation about 40 years ago, as you are seated here today, I learned that I'd won a scholarship to travel all around the world all expenses paid for a whole year. For me, it was the opportunity of a lifetime. I was a kid from Brooklyn. I had never been to any of these faraway places before. But at the same time, I met a girl, and I fell in love. Ah. So I ask you, what should I do? Should I go around the world on the all expense paid scholarship for a year? Or should I stay home with my first true love, the girl? I should have listened to him. I stayed home with the girl. Nope, don't clap yet. The story continues, you romantics. That summer, she went on a brief vacation. And I went to the airport to meet her on her return. As soon as she got off the plane, I saw by the look on her face, something was the matter. She dumped me by Labor Day. There I was, no scholarship, no trip around the world, no girl. I said to myself, what a loser you are. You'll never make anything of yourself. And I stayed in my house for months and moped around, feeling sorry for myself. But somehow I picked myself up, dusted myself off, and moved forward. And a few years later, I found myself seated at graduation once again, this time from law school. But on the way home from law school, thank you, but on the way home from law school, I told mom and dad I was not going to join the fancy law firm like we had planned. I told them I love politics. My dream was to run for office, even though the chances of winning were small. Well, my parents were shocked. My mother was particularly disappointed. You see, my family struggled to send me to college and law school. And the, my father was an exterminator, never made much money, and the law firm was paying $400 a week, which in those days was more money than my family had ever seen. But my dream was to run for office, even if the chances of winning were remote. And so that fall, at the age of 23, I ran for the New York State Assembly, just like Victor Pichardo, who worked for me, who's your assemblyman now. He worked for me for a long time. He's a great kid. But I, I ran for the New York State Assembly at age 23, and I had three opponents. There was the party machine candidate. There was a neighborhood activist. And then, there was my mother who was telling all her friends not to vote for me. <laughs> so I get this dumb idea of being a politician, as she said, out of your big thick head. Well, class of 2014, a few years earlier, I didn't get that girl. But that November, I won the election. <laughs> so, to this great class of 2014, go for it. And when you have doubts, and we all have doubts, that's the human condition, that's how God made us, don't think you're different if you have any doubts about yourself. Maybe you'll remember a few lines from this poem by Rudyard Kipling called If. 
He wrote it to his son 130 years ago, but it's relevant to every son and every daughter of this great class this morning. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same, if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to broken and stoop and build them up with worn out tools. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on a turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue or walk with kings but not lose the common touch, if neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all count with you but none too much, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And which is more, you'll be a man, my son. He wrote it to his son 130 years ago. It's relevant to every son and every daughter of this great class, to the class of 2014 BCC. Congratulations. Good luck. Godspeed and don't forget, Go for it! Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, for Thank you Senator. Now it gives me great pleasure to welcome Gloriana Walters, Vice Chancellor of the City University of New York. Good morning, class of 2014. You did it. Congratulations. On behalf of Interim Chancellor Kelly and the university's central administration, I'm really happy to welcome you all to this morning's commencement exercises and to join you in celebrating this special day. I'm particularly pleased to be here with my colleagues, President Carol Barat-Joseph, Provost Claudia Schrader, and the other distinguished persons sharing the platform with us. CUNY Trustee Terrence Martell, Michael Williams, President of the BCC Alumni Association, Glendalis Aldalgo, President of Student Government Association, Professor Franklin Moore, Chair of the College Senate, Professor Herman Stein, the Presidential Medallion Awardee, Sid Wilson, your commencement speaker, and Afra Abis, the Valedictorian. So I have a real special connection with Bronx. I actually began my CUNY career here. I met my husband here. And so I really love being at Bronx Community. I want to recognize the superb faculty and staff of Bronx for their dedication in helping you reach this day of celebration. I'm sure as you look over the sea of bright, eager faces, I hope you're aware of the breadth and depth of your accomplishment here. Thank you to the faculty and staff for your efforts on their behalf. Every time I look at, at a group of graduates like this, I cannot help but exult because it is so clear that public education not only works, it triumphs. Every face I see, every face I see here is a winner. It doesn't mean it was easy. For many of you, attending college has been a struggle. You've been juggling family and jobs and you've encountered significant financial barriers in some cases. Just remember that one way of measuring success is by the number and difficulty of obstacles you've overcome. And by that measure, you are all success stories. <laughs> the challenges won't end with your degree, however. Today is the end of one road and the beginning of another. So I'm the Vice Chancellor for Human Resources. I'm really focused on jobs. The good news is that the economy is starting to open up. Just a few weeks ago in the Washington Post, the Washington Post reported that 48.4% of companies surveyed indicated that they plan to increase their new graduates' hires this year. That's good news. 
Some of you already have jobs, and I know that you're looking at this degree as a way to move up. I know at CUNY, when we look at people who are able to move up, we also look for what kind of credentials they bring. Have they, do they have their degree? Have they gotten additional certificates? I hope that many of you are thinking about continuing your education at one of CUNY's senior colleges. For those of you who might be on the fence, like you're tired of school, let me give you some numbers. This past February, Pew Research surveyed 2,000 college graduates between the ages of 25 and 32 and found that on average they were earning nearly $18,000 more per year than people that same age with only a high school diploma. And they earned almost twice as much as someone without a diploma at all. And just this week in the Times, People with bachelor's degrees now are earning 98% more per hour than people without degrees. So while you have already reached one milestone, think about the next one. One way or, or another, be assured of this. Bronx Community College has provided you with a solid educational foundation, and for most of you, that will mean a higher standard of living. The time you spent at CUNY is probably the best bang for your buck that you'll ever get. And I just want to recognize that your valedictorian is actually transferring. She's going to City College to join the PA program. So now I've talked about economic success, but there's more to success than, um, and more to being a productive individual. Michelle Obama has said, success is not all about the money you make, but the difference you make in someone's life. As you set the path for your future, dream big, make giving back to your community a part of your vision. Take the same determination, optimism, hard work, and tenacity that brought you to this point and carry that with you for the rest of your life. Every day, someone like you is out there changing the world in ways both big and small, and maybe you will end up on the Hall of Fame. Terrace. Keep challenging yourself. Whether or not you ever step into a classroom again, never stop learning. And I am so thrilled to acknowledge that the Ricardo Cisneros, who at age 77 is receiving a certificate of automotive mechanics, he is truly a star, someone who continues to learn going forward. Ricardo, are you out there? Yes? Well, we'll clap for him anyway. I'd like to close with a quotation from a great lady of American literature whom we lost this week. The late Maya Angelou said, you can only become truly accomplished at something you love. Don't make money your goal. Instead, pursue the things you love doing and then do them so well that people can't take their eyes off of you. I will add, and the money will follow. She followed her own advice, and I can't think of a life better lived or a better definition of success. So thank you for allowing me to share this special day with you, and congratulations again. Thank you, Vice Chancellor Walters. And now Mr. Michael Williams, President of the Alumni Association, will bring greetings. Mr. Williams. Wow. When I see you, I see me. I walk these same roads that you walk, and I know some of the nervous feelings that you may have. But I'm the president of the Alumni Association, and what I'm challenging you to do is make sure you get connected to that Alumni Association so we can assist you in your transition. We got some well-rounded people from various different career backgrounds that can assist you in trans transitioning into that job that you want or preparing for that future job. We already recruited one young lady today by the name of Angela Barnes-Williams. We want to shout her out because she's already joining our alumni association and we invite you to do the same thing. It's not as easy out there to transition into that job. Unfortunately today, some of the people with bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, are working at some of those low-end jobs that we look at sometimes, like McDonald's. You've got to get connected. You've got to get that support so you can transition and follow your dream. We're here to support you, and I ask you to sign up. You can go onto the website and do so. Congratulations, 2014. Thank you, Mr. Williams. And now it gives me great pleasure to invite our very own SGA president, Ms. Glenda Lee Salgado.
class of 2014. Give yourselves a round of applause, please. I just want to say very briefly that I am extremely sick right now, but I made it every way possible to be here so I can share this moment with you. To all my SGA members who are leaving this semester, can you please stand? Daniel Castellanos, our, for, our former legal legislator, Treasurer Tashana Martin, Marie Della Thomas, Chad Taro, Aisha DePay, Kelvis Daniel, Kelsey Bailey, if I'm forgetting any names, please forgive me, I am a little loopy. So, for everyone else, I'm sure for you, you never thought this day would come. Between all the dedicated study hours, full-time jobs, single mom and dad duties, I'm certain it was no easy task, but you did it. Whether you did it for your parents, who struggled to put food on your table and clothing on your back, whether you did it for your children that look up to you, that look to you for guidance and support, whether you did it for a future job or for the current job so you could put that piece of paper in your on your boss's face and say, I need a raise or whether you did it for yourself to prove that you will not allow yourself to become a statistic. But yet, here you are, becoming a statistic of a more promising and more positive narrative, that of a BCC graduate, not just any graduate, but a Bronx Community College graduate. So all the naysayers with the stigma of what it is to be a community college graduate, you are proving them wrong. So, here you are, relish in this moment, smile to the person next to you, congratulate each other. Say thank you to the family that watched your children so you can attend class. And hopefully this isn't the end of your educational journey. Please don't let it be. Because although an associate is beautiful on a wall, there's nothing like more degrees to come. So, this is just a segment, and for you math people, that's just a dot on the line, of your path of life. And as Jay-Z would say, on to the next one. Thank you, and congratulations. Wow, that was the SGA president. Give her another round of applause. Now, it gives me great pleasure to invite the Chair of the Faculty Senate, Professor Franklin Moore. Thank you. I have to follow Glenn DeLeese. I don't know whether I can live up to that, but I'll do my best. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank President Barrow Joseph, Vice President Brewer for introducing me. Uh, ah, my mind is gone. It happens. It'll happen to you as you get older. Uh, to the uh, Trustee Martell, Vice Chancellor Waters, but most of all, I want to thank you, the graduates. I have the pleasure of being the representative of the faculty up on this stage. So I'm the last BCC professor that you're going to have to listen to. <laughs> Hope, hopefully you'll want to listen to some of us again, but you have to listen to me, so take notes. Okay. I want to bring a few small, brief things to you to think about. The Old Testament writers tell us, to everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to gain, a time to lose, a time to love, a time to hate. No one's ever accused me of false modesty. So I'm going to add to this list of the Old Testament. There is a time to be humble, and there is a time to be proud. And ladies and gentlemen, graduates 2014, this is your time to be proud. You deserve it. You deserve this. You've had 8 a.m. classes. You've had 8 p.m. classes. You had to take Math 01, Math 03, Math 05, Math 0 whatever. You took classes you knew you would love, 
and ended up hating them. And you in, took classes you knew you would hate, hopefully some of mine, and actually enjoyed them and maybe learned some things you didn't think you would. You've done it all and you have arrived here today, graduates. And I, on behalf of the faculty, am so proud of you. And I want you to take a moment and be proud of yourselves. Pat yourself on the back. Say, self, you've done good. <laughs> and I know you're graduates now, so I know some of you are saying, did I do good or did I do well? <laughs> and I know you know the difference. But your mama you, is proud of you, and that's a good thing. So you've done good, and you did it well. I know you've got a lot to go through, but I really, really want to express on behalf of the faculty just how proud we are of you. And I want to leave you with the words of someone far more eloquent than me, someone that we lost this week. You've already heard something about her. But Ms. Maya Angelou, she wrote something that inspires me, and I hope it will inspire you. Love life. Engage in it. Give it all you've got. Love it with a passion, because life truly does give back many times over what you put into it. Thank you. Go forward. Live life. It is now my great pleasure to introduce the Bronx Community College 2014 Salutatorian Maureen Donovan and Valedictorian Afra Abis. So each of these talented women had special obstacles to overcome before they could stand before you today. Those of you fortunate enough to hear Maureen Donovan speak at Wednesday night's Honors Convocation know some of her background. She was born in New York City, but raised in Ireland, and then returned to New York, where she raised two daughters from infancy to college. Maureen, would you please stand? It was a neighbor of hers who suggested that with her children, Pursuing higher education, it was now her turn. And that neighbor happens to have been Kathy Savage, one of BCC's Academic Success Center advisors. <clears throat> Academic success is what Ms. Donovan is all about. A member of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, she graduates with a 4.0 grade point average and a degree in the liberal arts, with an emphasis on early childhood education. She now plans to get her BA in that field. And by the way, Ms. Donovan credits many of you for making her BCC experience such a great success. She had been fearful coming to BCC at an age that was quite mature, but you heard, I told her, she was not the oldest of the class. But you always made her feel like she was one of our own. And so today, I congratulate her and also congratulate all of you. <laughs> our valedictorian is Afra Abis. <laughs> Afra came to BCC after being raised in a country where, as she herself describes, the education of women is undervalued. On this campus, of course, it is not. And she is the perfect example of that. She graduates today with a flawless 4.0 grade point average. with her degree in the liberal arts and sciences. Her initial goal was to pursue a career in nursing. Like so many students, she changed her plans, and as she was exposed 
to the world of possibilities here at BCC and with the mentoring from Professor Kamal Ismail, Ms. Abiz shifted to courses in chemistry, biology, and math, subjects that she mastered. She even tutored other students in them. Somehow, she also found time to be secretary to the Muslim Students Association. Ms. Abiz will be attending City College in the fall with her eye on a BA in biochemistry and a career as a physician's assistant, and maybe someday even a physician. And here's the remarkable part of her story. Ms. Abiz came to the United States only four and a half years ago. She graduated from high school in 2012, but I will let her tell you the rest of her story. BCC class of 2014, I present to you your valedictorian, Afra Abis. Thank you, President Barat and honor guests. Good morning, faculty, friends, relatives, and most important of all, graduates of 2014. When I was told that I've been chosen to be this year's valedictorian, I didn't react with excitement. I didn't know what a valedictorian is. But when I did find out, I was overcome with, with many emotions, gratitude, and a little nervousness. It is truly an honor and joy to stand here today to represent my class. I'm so deeply appreciative of this opportunity. As is true for so many of my fellow graduates, this morning, this has been an incredible journey for me. I wasn't raised with the expectation that I'd be standing here today. I was raised and schooled in the Middle East in Yemen. Raised, <laughs> Raised with the expectation of getting married and becoming a durable wife and a caring mother. Higher education and a future career were only dreams. I remember when I was in fifth grade, there were only 12 girls in my class. And that small number began to shrink over the years. In sixth grade, my friend's mother died, and she had to leave school to care for her younger siblings. In seventh grade, another friend got engaged, and she left school to marry. Then one after another left school. So then, by 10th grade, there were only six of us left. Many in my own extended family insisted that I too stop going to school after the ninth grade. But in October 2009, I moved, I joined my brothers and my dad to the United States. Moved to a country where opportunities for achievement extended to all, to women as well as to men. As you might, as you might imagine, the challenge was enormous. The culture was new. The language was new. I was a teenage girl who spoke and dressed differently. Clearly an outsider, intimidated and at times even terrified of the challenges ahead of me. But also, I was determined to succeed and pursue higher education. Because failure is not an option. If I would have failed, I would not only fail myself, but also scatter the dreams of many young Yemeni girls. <laughs> Perseverance and hard work, that's what so many of my fellow graduates, not doubt at all, have displayed these past years. 
Every and each one of you have his, his or her own story of determination when an over limitation. Many like me are foreign born from the Middle East, South America, from cross islands, Asia, Eastern Europe. All have confronted a new language, a new culture. Many like me are characterized as minority, people who do not really belong. All sort of hardships were a daily struggle. But we persevered because determination wins. Yes, we are winners, each and every one of us. And one thing winners know is that they can never do it all alone. So let me, on behalf of my graduates, give a shout of deep thanks to parents, relatives, and friends who made this day possible. We could not succeed without you. And today is first of many repayments. And if I may, I'd like to extend my own personal expression of gratitude my family not only allowed me to pursue my dream, but also actively encouraged me to do so. I'm so thankful for your encouragement. Thank you, Mom. We do not get to choose our family, but we do get to choose our friends. And I chose wisely. <laughs> My friends have been boosters of my career, but one friend, one incredible friend, who have been there for me from day one, through, through bad and good, my best friend, Baghdad. Thank you. She's right there. Success doesn't happen in a vacuum. The wonderful BCC community gave us the environment in which we can flourish. The devoted administration and its outstanding staff believed in us, believed in us and helped us navigate the maze of academic, personal, and career challenges. I want to express our deepest thanks to our fabulous faculty who encouraged, demand, and expected us to excel. Let me assure you, we appreciate it more than we sometimes show it. <laughs> I also want to thank ASAP for offering academic... <laughs> for offering academic and financial support, not only that, also for the great advisement and the sense of union that made us feel like a family. And if I may, I'd like to thank the chemistry department for offering to work with them and the communication department for helping me in this speech. <laughs> you know, if you listen to college students, especially in elite school, you will hear them talk with irony and cynicism about how useless a college degree is. But not here at BCC. We are hopeful, we are grateful. This mattered to us, and we are determined to matter. So let me once again congratulate, congratulate my fellow graduates. We did well, and the rest of you, watch us, because with or without these hats, we are determined to matter. And as we say it in Arabic, Mabruk. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Abis. Two days ago, on May 28th, at the Honors Convocation, the valedictorian and salutatorian received the Presidential Academic Excellence Scholarship Award. 
At that ceremony, we also honored students whose scholastic, extracurricular, or personal achievements are outstanding and merit special recognition. It is my privilege to congratulate them once again and request that they stand so that this assembly may also honor all the students who were at Honors Convocation and were awarded. So please stand. Congratulations. Recently, I tweeted these words by the philosopher Herbert Spencer. The great aim of education is not just knowledge, but action. Those words perfectly sum up the life of our keynote speaker. Sid Wilson graduated from The Ohio State University. He used that education as the foundation of a spectacular career as a financial analyst. One of those Wall Street wizards who study the markets the way astronomers study the stars. Forbes magazine named him the best in his field. Today, he is an equity research financial analyst at Princeton Securities Group, the New Jersey-based investment firm, and has served on the boards of PepsiCo and Verizon Communications. Sid Wilson is also a stellar example of the successful business person with an unwavering social conscience, someone committed to giving back to his community. President Barack Obama asked him to serve on the National Museum of the American Latino Study Commission, <laughs> where he is involved in the planning of a new museum in Washington, D.C., dedicated to the 500-year history of Latinos in the U.S. He is a former national president of the Dominican American National Roundtable, a national nonprofit organization that advocates for the two million Dominicans in the United States. He also contributes his talents to groups like Dominicans on Wall Street, the National Council of La Raza, and the NAACP. Now, if that isn't enough, Mr. Wilson is also committed to advancing the community college mission. Sid Wilson is vice chairman of the Board of Trustees at Bergen Community College in New Jersey. He serves on the state board of the New Jersey Council of County Colleges and the national board of directors of the Association of Community College Trustees. This year's commencement speaker regularly spreads his inspiring message in major print and broadcast media. We are so fortunate this morning that he will bring a special message to Bronx Community College and the class of 2014. Let us give him a warm Bronx welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Buenos dias. You look so beautiful from here. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Thank you for that gracious introduction uh, to the president of Bronx Community College, Carol Barad Joseph, CUNY trustee Terrence Martell, Vice Chancellor Gloria Walters, SGA President Glenda Lee Salgado, and I got a funny feeling from your speech that this will not be the last time we'll be calling you president. There will be, you have a great future. To valedictorian Afran Avisa, a beautiful, inspirational student who came from Yemen with a dream that through Bronx Community College, that that dream can come true. And to all the friends and family, faculty and staff, 
administration, and most importantly to you, the class of 2014 at Bronx Community College, good morning. I stand before you here this morning as someone who had a very similar upbringing like you. My parents came to the United States from Barahona, Dominican Republic. Neither way can or see. With a dream and a vision that coming to New York and raising our families here, that we could achieve that dream and that goal and that mission. And so I stand here before you today porque soy como ustedes. I am just like you. And before I got my degree from The Ohio State University, I too was a student at community colleges. The very college where I serve on the Board of Trustees currently, I also was a student there. I also was a student at Columbus State Community College in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, all these because I understood that the faculty that are at our community colleges are the best in the nation. And I will tell you that your faculty here at Bronx Community College prepared you to be the best in your field. I will tell you that your road to success is a great road. And I will tell you that from my background, as someone that went to public schools, someone that grew up in an immigrant family, someone who had a dream that one day that I could become the next guy on Wall Street. And despite all the challenges that I was told, and this will be part of my message to you, and that is, is that you need to plan to achieve but dare to exceed, and great results you will see. And I say that because when I was told that I had no chance of achieving a career on Wall Street, they said, you didn't go to Harvard, so sorry, there's no place for you. You didn't go to Yale, there's no place for you. You have all these challenges, there's no place for you. I said, absolutely not. That spot is for me, and let me show you how. And so I did what was necessary. I didn't wait for the opportunity. I didn't wait for the opportunity to come to me. I created it. And what I did is, thank you, is I went to an investment firm and I said, I will be your mailboy. I will work in your mailroom. And if I'm not the best Wall Street mailboy you've ever seen, you can fire me and we can have a nice day. Well, obviously, the fact that I'm standing here before you today on this beautiful May morning, obviously, I was not fired. <laughs> I moved up from the mailroom to assistant, assistant to associate, associate to junior, a junior to senior, senior to managing director. And then you can only imagine when Forrest Magazine called and said, congratulations, we did our ranking of the best Wall Street financial analysts in the nation. And in your field of specialty, we rank you number one in the nation. And so, I share this message to you, not to impress you. I share this message to impress upon you that this is your future and you are ready this is your day, and I have the greatest confidence that the class of 2014 at Bronx Community College will be remembered as the best class ever to graduate from Bronx Community College. I know you went through some incredible challenges late nights, finding babysitters maybe, parents that went above and beyond so that this day could be seen by their eyes to see you graduate. Loved ones, friends, best friends, all invested in you so that this day could, make, could, could happen. 
And so, I want to give you just a little bit of, of advice from someone who not too long ago sat in the very seats that you're sitting. And I have to tell you that ever since I had these opportunities, so many great things have happened, so many opportunities. I made the cover of Black Enterprise magazine. I was profiled by ABC News. I've been on Univision and Telemundo more times than I can count. And I got appointed by the President of the United States, Barack Obama. And I will tell you the great part about it is that it wasn't just an appointment. I've gone to the White House multiple times. In fact, I was at the White House just this past Friday, uh, probably maybe the fourth or fifth time that I've had a chance to go to the White House. But I say that because this could be your future. Whether your goal is to be the best physician, whether it's goal to be the best nurse, the best business person, the best scientist, I will tell you that you have everything, everything that it takes to become number one at what you're doing. And don't let anybody tell you that you cannot strive to be number one. We have a great valedictorian who told, who told the story of how she came from Yemen. But I know each and every one of you have your stories. And, it's, and for those of you that are getting ready to transfer to your next academic institutions, who's to say that it might be you that may be the next valedictorian when you graduate in 2016 or 2017? Who's to say that you will not be the next great business person? Who's to say you will not be the next great elected official, like our good friend Victor Bichardo, that's, uh, that's your state assembly person, or Senator Chuck Schumer? Who's to say that you cannot be the next president of the United States? Who am I to tell you what you cannot do? So, I want to leave you with some advice as you get ready for your next great journey. And number one is that you need to wake up every single morning with a mission. Achieve your goal with precision. Don't make it a difficult decision because it's all about your vision. And fear not your ambition. Fear not your ambition. If you've got the dream and you've got the vision and you've got the purpose, fear not your ambition because one day you will be in the Hall of Fame here at Bronx Community College. And one day you will be recognized with maybe a building named after you or a street named after you. Or, you know, or who, what, who's, who's to say that you cannot achieve all these great opportunities? Strive to be outstanding. Because if you take the word outstanding and turn it around, what do you got? Stand out. So to be outstanding, don't be afraid to stand out. Our valedictorian explained how difficult it was, but she stood out and she rose up and she became the valedictorian. Of course, I want to recognize, of course, Maureen Donovan, the salutatorian, who's, who's, done, who's just been an incredible uh, student. Turn your dreams of today into your destiny of tomorrow. And, do, and make sure that whatever your, whatever your history was, we've all had our challenges and all the difficulties, but use that as your leverage, your motivation, your inspiration. And use the power of momentum. Sometimes the most difficult task of starting a new project is just deciding you're going to do that new project or that new initiative. For those of us that work out in the gyms, the hardest part of going to the gym is just getting through the doors. Once you're in there, you're working, you're moving, you're, you're jogging. That's the, get, that's the easy part. That's the power of momentum. Use your momentum. For those in math, remember Y equals MX plus B? Oh my goodness. That M, remember that M? That's your momentum. Get that momentum going and I promise you that you have a great future. And this is very important advice. Once you leave here on this campus of Bronx Community College, you're going to have those that are going to tell you that you can do it. You're going to have those that are going to tell you you can't do it. You know what you can do. 
I'm going to give you a quick basketball analogy for those of you that watch basketball. When you're on a 10-0 run or a 20-0 run and you, you, you just got that momentum, what does the opposing team always do? They call timeout. They call timeout because what are they trying to do? They're trying to stop your momentum. And my message to you, class of 2014, don't let anyone call time out on you. And lastly, before I, before I wrap up my remarks, let me say that you're going to go through many continued challenges. And some things you're going to succeed in, and some things you may not. But I love the quote by one of our legendary basketball players, Michael Jordan, who said, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. On 26 occasions, I was asked to take the winning shot and missed. I failed over and over and over again. That is why I succeed. And my message to you is don't be afraid to try that new initiative. If it's hard, embrace it. If it's easy, it means you've already grown it and it's time to go to the next level. You, the class of 2014, I know that I see greatness here this morning. I know that every single one of you has the opportunity, the potential to be the best and every one of you will be number one. But the key is, not that I believe it, is that you have to believe it. When you believe it, everything happens. And I will tell you that I look forward to the day when I read in the papers about Bronx Community College graduates, the class of 2014 and where they are in the future, doing great things in this end, not only for the borough of the Bronx, for New York City, and for our nation, the United States of America. And when that happens, I will be cheering you on from wherever I am, and I know that the faculty and staff will be cheering you on because you are our future. And that's why we need for you to make sure that you succeed, and after you succeed, do not forget where you came from. Do not forget. Do not forget where you came from. Make sure you come back to the Bronx. Make sure that you are the mentors for the next generation at Bronx Community College. Make sure that you are the mentor for your children so that, so that all of us can be able to succeed and prosper and do great. And so that's why remember where you came from. Remember those who worked hard so you could be here today. Remember the, our parents who worked so hard to get where we today. Remember our civil rights leaders, Latino and African American and Asian American, who, who, who made the difference so that we can have the right to have a college degree. And so, I want to thank all of you. I want to thank the faculty. Thank the staff. Thank President Barack Joseph. Thank you to the class of 2014 for inspiring us, for inspiring me, because you are the pride and joy. You're the crown jewel of Bronx Community College. And I want to say congratulations, 2014. And as you do that, I want you to repeat after me. Repeat these words right after me. I plan to achieve. I dare to exceed. Great results, you'll see. Thank you very much. Congratulations, class of 2014. Thank you so much, Mr. Wilson. At this time, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of New York City Council member Fernando Cabrera, who's joined us.
At every Bronx Community College commencement, I'm able to present a President's Medallion. This award is given to an individual whose life and work reflect the same level of commitment to excellence that we encourage in our students and our graduates. I'm pleased to say that this year, the award is going to a member of the BCC community, chemistry professor, Dr. Herman Stein. So as much, as much as any one person can be, Dr. Stein is the BCC Department of Chemistry. He came to us the same year that BCC first opened its doors. Hired as a lecturer by our very first president, Dr. Morris Meister. As the founding principal of the distinguished Bronx High School of Science, Dr. Meister obviously had a keen eye for scientific and teaching talent, and Professor Stein did not prove him wrong. Professor Stein developed many of the chemistry department's alphabet soup of courses. How many of you took Chem 11, Chem 12, Chem 17, 18, 22, Science 11, Science 12, and Chemistry 02, which is still the department's highest enrolled course with approximately 900 students taking that course every year. Professor Stein served as department chairperson from 1985 to 1988 and as the deputy chairperson responsible for evening classes for 10 years. Since then, he's mentored many of the department's junior faculty members, including the current chairperson, Dr. Neil Phillip, when he was initially hired in 1999. Professor Stein has contributed to the fundamentals of general chemistry, the lab manual used here at BCC. And now he is the star of a YouTube video celebrating his 55 years of service to the Department of Chemistry at Bronx Community College. <laughs> Professor Stein, today, BCC draws students from around the globe to its widely respected science classes, and you were the start of it all. It is certainly a highlight of today's celebration of excellence to present you the 2014 Presidential Medallion. Congratulations. Okay, uh, I'm appreciative of the opportunity to make my remarks, and as I'm listening, I'm saying, I'm a walking book of history, and this being the occasion for sentiment and nostalgia, I know what it meant to me when I graduated from City College. I want to tell you what I would call a Bronx tale. I borrowed that title from one of our alumni, I believe. <laughs> Bronx Tale. Uh, okay. I think what's relevant, this being a commencement ceremony, every time I see that number for the commencement, I say to myself, is that correct? Is that accurate? Because I want to tell you a little history story of Bronx BCC that 
I was present at the very first commencement held by BCC. And you wouldn't believe it. The administration, because it was the first graduating class, wanted to have a special commencement. It was held, a class being entered in spring, it was held in a January time. So I wonder whether that gets counted among the 54, maybe another one. And I always bring that subject up. And I'll tell you what my experience was that night. I had the box with my robe under my arm. I had to be at the commencement. The commencement was held at the facilities that are now called Lehman College when it was a branch of Hunter College uptown. Okay, and here I am I'm heading towards that facility, an auditorium of uh, the college there, Hunter Uptown, and I took the number four train, got off it, and I'm telling you, it was a heavy snowing night. I never forgot that, and I'm trudging up from where I got off of the subway, say, where is this godforsaken place there? <laughs> Where, I, where the commencement is taking place. And I'll tell you that I kept as a souvenir the program of that night, and my generosity led me to contribute that for use as an exhibition some years back, and I never got it back. But, <laughs> but I'll tell you what happened. I made a photocopy. <laughs> so somewhere in my files, I have a photocopy of the very first commencement, and it listed those students who were the graduates. And I want to tell you, there were limited programs. Most of the programs were what they called technology that you were able to, after completing that two-year program, go on and seek employment. Well, one of the main programs of which BCC had due to that president was called chemical technology. And after that two-year program ended and the students had me for several of the courses, one of them comes up to me and says, Professor Stein, what do I do now that I'm graduating? So I said to him, well, you're educated, you're trained in chemical techniques, go out and find a job. So he said, where do you find a job? So from my other experiences uh, at Brooklyn College, I knew where graduate students were employed, and I said, there's a company called Geige Chemical Company, about 10 miles north of here, go there and seek an interview with the personnel department, you wanna know, about nine young men got employed, and they spent most of their working career there. And one of them became a vice president. The name has changed over years and is now called, what well, got changed to Siva Geige and uh, Novartis. These companies all go through changes, but they, they did very well for themselves. I want to tell you that the Programs offered, like I mentioned that, they were what are called AAS programs. There were two main programs in the early years. AA, which more or less suggested that arts, that you were gonna transfer to a senior college. The others, the AAS. Well, there were, even at that, in the earlier stages, students who wanted to become some kind of science major and a dean, knowing that situation, took me on to be an advisor to those students who wanted to go into a science program. And I did that for several semesters. And then one year, I had been serving on the curriculum committee. The chairman of the committee told the curriculum committee at the college that the state education department approved a new degree called the AS degree. And I said, I know what, that's the perfect solution to problems here. And so you now have AS degrees 
in all different kinds of majors. And I'll tell you one more thing. I don't want to belabor this thing. I could go on and on. I know. Well, one last thing that I was told by my chairman at that time that I should go to a planning meeting up in Albany, SUNY Albany, because SUNY had what was called spring meeting. Uh, representatives from all the community colleges that were in the state. And so I went, and they're kicking around ideas. I said, I tell you what, the AS degree, which I put in at BCC. <laughs> and so you could understand, I spread the concept of an AS degree throughout all the community colleges. Okay, I won't go on, but I, being a, being a walking, I am a walking history buff. And students who've had me have had to suffer my digressions often in the middle of class. But Thank that's you. who I was. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to recognize Professor Stein's family who's here with us, his son, his wife, granddaughter, if you would like to stand. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Another round of applause for Professor Stein and all the service that you've provided to our students. So in the final moments of your BCC careers, I offer you these last words. Thank you. Gracias. Merci. Thank you for all you've done to create the new and revitalized Bronx Community College, helping us to define better BCC as a place where results, chief among them, successful completion of your journey with us is what matters. In the coming weeks, we will release a report on all that has been accomplished here at BCC over the last two years. And in many ways, each student here today is a co-author of that report. By taking full advantage of the opportunities you encountered on our campus, you wrote your own chapter of excellence. Graduating today are winners of such honors as the Coca-Cola Foundation Scholarship, the Kaplan Leadership Program Scholarship, and many others. But every one of you leaves here with the most important award of all, your future, which is truly yours to chart and conquer. The poet John Donne famously observed in the days when it was acceptable to say man, when you meant all of humanity, no man is an island. Well, no college is an island either. Yet too often that is just what they seem to be, islands of knowledge surrounded by a sea of next door strangers. But that is not what we have here at BCC. The first two words in our name, Bronx and community, are no less important than the last word, college. So that is not so new at BCC. We had a shining example of that principle in action just four weeks ago. On a sunny Saturday, BCC once again hosted our annual Hall of Fame Run and Walk, known as the Run the Bronx. The event was started 36 years ago by the man who then held the position I hold today, President Roscoe Brown, Jr. BCC knows Dr. Brown as a beloved leader and educator. Lovers of democracy and freedom everywhere remember him as the World War II fighter pilot, Captain Roscoe Brown, of the legendary, legendary Tuskegee Airmen. Still actively involved in college life at 93, Dr. Brown was with us at the event that now bears his name. 1,300 runners and walkers took part in this year's run. Avid marathon, marathoners to casual walkers, couples with small children, people over 70, BCC students, staff, along with a fair number of people who simply wanted to be here. Yes, it was a good time had by all, but BCC 
being an educational institution, it was a good time with a lesson. According to the Center for Disease Control, the 1.4 million residents of the Bronx are at higher risk of poor health than any other New Yorkers. This past January, BCC was chosen as the Bronx Point Partner for Startup New York, a 10-year program of tax breaks. When it is fully started up, our branch of Startup will create internships for our students and jobs for our community. Yes, there is a new BCC, but as of today, there's also a new you. The world needs you, the world is waiting for you. And now Bronx Community College, class of 2014, the moment you've been waiting for. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, so we'll now begin calling the graduates to the stage. So please follow the direction of the ushers. And don't leave after you walk the stage. You need to get back in your seats so the president can confer all degrees and call on you to switch your tassels in recognition of your graduation. V.P. Schrader. President Barack Joseph, on behalf of the faculty of Bronx Community College, I have the honor of presenting the candidates for the degree for the class of August 2013, January 2014, and June 2014. Will the candidates for the Associate in Arts, AA, degree stand and remain standing. <laughs> Will the candidates for the associate in science degree stand and remain standing? Will the candidates for the Associate in Applied Science degree, stand and remain standing. And will the candidates for a certificate stand and remain standing? Jennifer Mingo. <laughs> Justin Perez. Terrence Coffey. Yo, Fabio, you gotta take a picture. Kristen Tomeno. Eurizia Kayimi. Taryn Reyes. Akini Laguerre. Yeah. Ali Sandia Clark. Ashaki Sutton.
Crystal Torres. No, Maria Torres. Miko Jeffries. Kayla Ramos. Valerie Lewis. Erica Estrella. Cesar Julio Macera Jr. Kenneth Royal. Royal. Lakeisha Young. Deborah Walker. Kajatu Tao. Baghdad Morshed. Angelica Rivera. Jose Garcia. Carolina Zapata. Paola de los Santos. Benny Rodriguez Guerrero. Steve Bojosko. Daniel Cassiano. Erica Lugo. Betsy Vega. Emily Estevez. Gilda Cote. Anger Te. Zania Beckford. Christian Sangoel. Maria Madera. Swelling Johnny Hale. Fajan McLennan. Jesus Ortega. Marie Della Thomas. Rebelkis Vargas. Nairobi Colon Lopez. Latoya Coke. Samantha Santiago. Alexandra Canareo. Kelly Perez. Yeah, 
Yashira Velez. Myra Ortega. Luis Larios. Raquel Llorena de Rod Rodriguez. Elaine Ovejas. Karina Resto. Cindy Laura Velez. Noel Tarleton. Timothy Nieves. Aaron Douglas. Freddy Polanco. Dalen Hidalgo. Natalie Diaz. Stephanie Barnes. Marquise Wider. Natasha Fraser. <laughs> Melissa Linares. Mariela Jacquez. Albania de Jesus. Tionia Fitton. Toshana Martin. Wow. Christina Parker. Glorisel Belia. Jeanette Torres. Nancy Aybar. Margarita Perito. Latoya Washington. Chantel, Chantrell Winslow. Jerry Cruz. Arturo Llorena. Muznani Ali. Salih Salam. William Cortez. Norma Reyes. Mariam Kaba. Exo De La Torre. Jocelyn Valdez. Jadira Ortiz. Michelle Cornell. Rosa Monegro. Rachel Cruz Villalobos. Luisa Enoa. Gayatri Ramsing Mangal. Kimberly Vasquez. Emily Rosario. Giselle Lebron. Tanya Garcia. Jessica Abiles. Marinella Vega. Janira Rivera. Christian Abutsi Sewon.
Latoya Pension Johnson. Ricardo Mercado. Danielle Chavez. Yasmin Mendoza. Courtney Delgado. Elisa Torado. Lamarana Suwari. Modu Lamine Jaju. Mary Ariri. Nigeria Rola. Kelby Acevedo. Luciene Burgos. Felix Liz. Claymi Terrero. Sheree Lucky. Cristinis Rodriguez. Rosana Rodriguez. Theodora Vanessa Matis. Maciel Tavares. Flores. Flores Margarita Rincón. Cynthia Alameda. Mohamed Mariga. Jimmy James. Albert Olivari. Mochen Gopal. Jerry Roberts. Eliana Burgos. Elba Antigua. Richard Bolero. Victor Sega. Charles Angsong. William Quachi. Charlie Rafael Gomez. Andrew Suarez. Nana Bauting. Andres Devoren Jr. Jerezana Vasquez. 
Corey Spencer. Rodolfo Lopez. Jordan Troche. Tanya Painter. Kimberly Rulon. Ginev Castro. Abdullah Abdullah. Mari Valerie. Lila Lee Pallet. Mission Battle. Shanae Bellamy. Shanae Fambro. Liliana Weyanich. Shaquana Ellis. Angiani Graciani. Tafika Davis. Juan Sanchez. Jaira Jordan. Nicholas Rojas. Oh, yeah. Sonny Rafael Reyes. Jonathan Sagastone. Carlos Otero. Emily Torres. Alexis Reyes. Lan Tron. Catherine Perez. Canaleli Escolastio. Alexander Seco. Eric Avadoi. Kamali Dunbar Boston. Rosalie Olivares. Melissa Payano. Maxis Jimenez. Sandris De Leon. Maria Hernandez. Michael Norma. Miguel Enrique. Diomaris Sierra. Corey Graves. Brittany Williams. Kiani Frazier. Leslie Grullon. Darlene Vargas. Daisy Martinez. Michelle Laura. Victor Galan. Jazeni Marte. Yvette Reynoso. Dobrin Diaz. Alex Rodriguez. Darana Santana. Sydney Lockhart. 
Robert Menendez. Alexis Reed. Aja Epps. Shalene Santos. Joel Olivencia. Brian Leon. David Figueroa. Stephen Mercedes. Adam Hassan. Joseph Bohem. Ruth Rochester. Nene Ba. MD Israfel. Nalvilio Aquino Villorio. Jason Laurel. Edward Sibu. Jamie Mack. Caroline Sass. Victoria Bracero. Isabel Ureña. Priscilla Figueroa. Melissa Rivera Sprinkle. Kathy Maldonado. Diao. Fatu Diao. Teresa Jordan. Judelis Carrasco. Ashley Gonzalez. Isadora Concepcion. Jose Marte. Mario Veloz. Cynthia Maldonado. Annalise Bourbon. Vishnu Ragubar. Jonathan Pacheco. Sasha Delgado. Genevieve Smith Mansa. Michael Freire. Jennifer Mendoza. Jasmine Rodriguez. Liana Naives. Roberto Sanchez. Nakisha Ologalin. Duane Ewan. Jean Nick Gore. Maria Lisa Sanchez. Angela Fana. Altagracia Checo. John Okra. Raquel Rosario. Rafalina Gonzalez. 
Nina Kunseko. Afra Abis. Maureen Donovan. Carlos San Pedro. Roberto Cabrera. Crystal E. Negron. Sarai Garcia. Evelyn Luna. Erika Rodriguez. Anid Gotai. Jeffrey Acosta. Javier Sapphire. Michael Marcelino. Justin Brothing. Samantha Towns. Kelvin Ferreira. Shami Janat. Alpha Diallo. Benny Vargas. Brenda Mendez. Angelica Panama. Doris Novell. Elaine Basket. Patrick Lewis. Gregory Adams. Victor Sosa. Jonathan Rivera. Sherilyn Romero. Francesca Osuna. Alexandra Castello. Isamar Alonso. Annabel Morales. Daniela Whitehead. Your ladies, Yanez Roseo. Maria Rodriguez. Dioris Cabrera. Matilde Zapata. Leonela Picardo. Victor Jamal Walker. Jonathan Griffin. Jermaine Williams. Barbara Raven Dornick. Chanel Thomas. Jessica Brown. <laughs> Shayna Brown. Sabrina Williams. Marco Carrasquillo. Matthew Arozaga. Tadiana Brazovan Ortega. 
Alma Garcia. Liliana Balcalcer. Hadija Asaba. Vanessa Freitas. Tierra Tom. Nadette Haywood. Danielle Agrand. Jamil Santos. Ricardo Osborne. Koku Ida. Christopher Gardiole. Kristen Sandiford Dawson. Basil Blair. Isael Tejeda. Richard Tahida. Janil Blanco. Carmen Cuevas. Anthony Nieves. Asha Ellis. Erika Salcedo. Deborah Pagan. Shatis Eberhardt. Myra Batista. Ana Martinez. Brian Tavires. Leuri Rivas. Dasha Griffith. Ebony Arlene Broussard. Damaris Ramon. Enrico Ortiz Floyd. <laughs> Jay Thornhill. Michael Colon. David Perez Ramos. Ashley Brown. Frankie Dixon. William Bonnell. <laughs> Luis Pereira. Shakima Davis. Giles Bazabas. Miguel Astredido. Edwin Peña. Andrelis Medina. Miguel Peña. Mercy Okundai. Lydia Jalamillo. 
Sasha Beckford. Lizville Smith. Andrew Mejami. Jose Guzman. Brittany Sanchez. Brasila Sanchez. Corey Blake. Juan de la Cruz. Cece McNeil. Okay. He should have said Stephanie Totistirio. Anatalio Camacho. Celeste Barrio. Christian Jill. Jessica Rosario Laura. Romaine McDaniel. Peter Guy Thompson. Okay, well. David Alabi. Tracy Fofi. Stephania Kewali. Dagoberto Valesquez. Trying to get it right. Melissa Ann Mitchell. Lorraine Poso. Juan Soto. Bernardo Ortega. Hector Ramirez. Shaniqua Whittingham. Christina Mann. Jeanette Woods. Ariel Furple. Janine Brown Whitaker. Akia C. Bowman Hall. Simone Bryan. Patria Lopez. Aliyah Mullings. Barbara Gaffney. Adriana Polio. Mary Harrison. Angela Jokim. Jose Javier Guzman. Wendolyn Rodriguez. Johanna Guzman. Georgina Cabrera. Kelvin Estrella. Tynesha O'Brien. Monique Smalls. Rosanna Ortiz.
Veronica Mahina. Hesa Liriano. Angelica Pippin. Najahana Perez. Elvis Hernandez. Richard Orta. Daniel Rojas. Eliana Morel. Olisa Desla. Jacqueline Mary Coleman. Eric Oramo. <laughs> Melika Dixon. Meshehu McIntosh. Kima McIntosh. Keisha Tessis. Kamisha Reed. Eugenie Pasligua. Catherine Hernandez. Mayra Rios. Jennaqua Bailey. Renee Valentine. Diana Martinez. Elizabeth Hansen. Diane Estrella. Orlandis Corona. Christian Gab. Jerry Nin. Letty Hernandez. Brigida Rivera. Yasmin Garcia. Erica De La Cruz. Gabriela Frias. Sharon Johnson. Nicola Clark. Janet Daly. Rosanna Monegro. Danny Lopez. Ling Mas Thomasine. McBilly Sai. Moses Chavez. Erica Berrios. Shakara Brown. Edje Akute Sidimian. Patrick Abergay. Ethan Orenstein. Henry Nunez. Francis Leo. 
Bryant Guerrero. Leonardo Vera Sosa. Bernadette Jacino. Robert Baez. Ana Ramos. Keisha Diaz. Rina Ataman. Christian Leclerc. Patricia Orozco. Mildred Grouillon. Shannon Consuegra. Melissa Rodriguez. Jesenia Bidal. Jasmine Casado. Joseni De La Cruz. Winter Alexander. Marilyn Marte. Nade Shanade. Delia Escano. Thank you. Giselle Espelat. Darlene Hidalgo. Josue Santos. Ronald Rodriguez. Stephanie Polanco. Naomi Roos. Robert Batista. Wesley Conti. Kimari. Kimari Vidal. Fredline Delicat. Linda Rivera. Jeanette Morales. Angel Medina. Tiffany Espino. Jessica Tejada. Candace Moore. Andrea Soniano. Eric Lizardo. Julio Torres Jr. Judelka Colado. Katy Zapata de Reynoso. Olga Buport. Judith Mahon. Jaina Mena. Claudine Wright. Leonardo Rojas. Bakari Darbo. Loretta Stevens. Sherry Alisa Nalas.
Stephanie Alba. Lala Green. Jacqueline Bautista. Francis Ja. Fatumata Diallo. Evelyn Kumar. Jatu Besman. Paulina Saki. Michael Ogundipi. Shayla Somerville. Kadian Facey. Melanie Capellan. Catherine Galindo. Tamisha Medina. Joanna Jimenez. Cindy Ciprian. Vichel Garcia. Janice Almonte. Kayla Lopez. Angela Pichardo. Placido, freaking awesome. Christian Pena. Yvette Gonzalez. Priscilla Felipe. Vanessa De La Santo. Samantha Alvale. Franklin Mejia. Viet Phi Pham. Tyra Askew. Rochesca Alcantara. Carlos Batista. Stephen Ward. Rita Atkins. Jasmine Miller. Michelle Sutton. Karina Reyes. Elizabeth Corbett. Derek Ankra. Adam Rushani. Sandra Taylor Crump. Mohammed Dow. Christina Roundtree. David Hernandez. Harold Martinez. Adalisa Contreras. Juana Contreras. Cindy Peña. Tabiri Nemhard. Devron Epps. Kiani Hendricks. Tina Small. 
Mary Duverge. Quincy Miller. Stanley Morrison. Robert Felix. Virginia Blanco. Deveron Jackson. Crystal Rivera. Guy Shoulders Jr. Oprah Wiltshire. Stacy Ballard. Shivani S. Matau. Jenny La Laura Zabel. Richard Acevedo. Shakia Taylor. Melissa Josephine Almanzar. Renee Reed. Mark Rainey. Jennifer Banks. Victoria Opute. <laughs> Bintu Dabao. Selena L. Johnson. Matthew Thomas. <laughs> Raymond Campbell. Brittany Brown. Trey Blackwell Jr. Chanel Jones. Arkan Amini. Yoani Perez. Karina Rodriguez. Ladi Abid. Camille Roddy. Tyrone Hunter. <laughs> Andy Patel. Juan Perez Medina. Jose Miguel Polino. Joshua Carrasco. Jose Natal. Alexis Esperol. Julio Rodriguez. Giovanni Douglas. Awilda Camelo. Carlos de los Santos. Taibo Aladumi. Judith Merritt. Jeanette Mendez. Christopher Cruz.
Tiana Garcia. Taina. Stephanie Elagar. Leroy David. Chimera London Hoylet. Raquel Ramos. Dylan Jagrup. Jason Chung. Melvin Desla. Abraham Christopher. Kadeem A. Stefan Watson. Kadeem Payne. Bogar Israel Avila. Jonathan Soto. Harry Cologne. Jesus Ramirez. Andre Vasquez. Nicole Vesquez. Carissa Ferron. Johnny Ayala. Roger Fanete. Jeffrey DeLuna. Jensi Feliz. Anthony Estrella. Sana East. Madeline Lugo. Gladys, I have Gladys Rivera. Andrew Caraciato. Gladys Rivera. Glad Gladys Rivera. Andrew Carciato. Yes. Manuel Passos. Esmeralda Marte. Nilsa Arsu. Dominique Holloman. Elizabeth Pagan. Erica Rivera. Ayana Tamara Blackman. Shakina Hinton. Nichelle Cox. Dulcia Blow. Jennifer Rojas. Carrie Esther Fernandez. Elizabeth Torres. Shamika Christopher. Paul Anthony Nagal. Tanel Belton. Sorry. <laughs> Tiffany Feliz Feliciano. Garessa Santana. Andriana Espeyat. Danny Mendoza. Leon Anglin. 
Naomi Bua. Yori Henriquez. Willy Guzman. Christopher Arias. Armando Junior Camposano. Jeffrey Payer. Kevin Bryce. Kevin Adolphus. Jennifer Scarrett. Merlene Baino. Joan Silne. Shante Harper. Naima Roberts. Marco Antonio, Antonio Lopez. Leticia Rivera. Basolo Dijon. Jacqueline Santiago. David Rivera. Donovan Robbins. Angel Ceballo. Dawn Porch. Danny Medina. Al Fatea Saba Elahim Darlene Diaz Is Lady Ramos Angela Barnes Andre Gonzalez Matthew Osorio Colleen Pickett. Darius Helgardo. Sairi Matos. Karim Baco. Rose Yara. Laisa Douglas. Samantha Lester. Cristal Infante. Tiffany Gutierrez. Ranel Burgos. Evelyn Reyes. Salvatore Golfo. Cristo Carrion. Brittany Scott. Esoken Edemuria. Thomas Asma. Shakima Carter. Kosi Achimi. Cristina Valle. Sherry Ferrer. Kamara Mueller. Sandra Evelyn Perez. 
Natalia, tranquila. Candice Lopez. Asmera Aviles. Cynthia Oliver. Vito Lombard. Joshua Rosa Garcia. Gonsley Gordon. Vanessa Rodriguez. <laughs> Carmen Adamas. Erika Gonzalez. Odin Finley. Chauna Greenhill. Joy Jones. Candice Burnett. Kimberly Lewis. Patrick Castello. Christopher McCalla. Janine Bennett. Tainis Velez Negron. Odessa Mackenzie. Cristal Barrios. Stephanie Gomez. Christy Vargas. MD Rahman. Montana Powell. Daniel Chacon. Razila Razan. Alexis Suarez. Mario Raviera. Makara Roberts. Denasia Odeasa. Whitney Christian. Janida Peralta. Anneli Gomez. Fantasia Pelzer. Fatou Barry. Charlton Connor. Jorge Castillo. Rubeldi Smith Palino. Yasmel Lorenzo Rodriguez. Angela Whalen. Sueli Mercader. Jeanette Henry. Melissa Novoa. Jennifer Hernandez. Valencia Smith. Taiwana Flowers. 
Angelín Contreras. Coralie Ferron. Adriana Campbell. And Elise Garcia. Sabrina Castro. Jeanette Potillo. Christopher Vargas. Cecily Hickson. Marie Julien Lamotte. Noel Gamien. Gisuri Balbuena. Glenny Santos. Maria Parisi. Abu Funana. Pufana. Denisha Michael. Lorian Rivera. Jasmine Renewen. Crystal Grizel. Mark Cortez. Mudu Sen. Bubakar Diallo. Mamadou Diallo. Wendoli Rodriguez. Okay, okay. Chataro? Chataro? Chataro. Stephanie Chambers Blanco. Joanna Ortiz William Vaughn Tracy Holiday Felice Gordon Onika Joseph Tracy Ann Josephs Jocelyn Irisari Luis Abru Rosemary Hiraldo Albert Davis Leonard Love Raysan Tracy Tashara Johnson Shanae Moss Ricardo Angeles Darlene Reyes Shinedo Uatu Elizabeth Herrera
Yamilis Bello. Patrick Nelson. Kevin Sanchez. Stuart Smith. <laughs> Timothy Rolak. Taisha Riddick. Roland Fernandez. Roy Nunez. Saya Low. Edrus Edwarzen. Kiana Arnold. Kiari Diaz. Fatu Ka. Eileen Lowe. Christ Christina Rivera. Chong Zhou. Erica Contreras. Madeline Santos. Claudine Absalom Campbell. Leah Blackman. Linda Yarko. Arredondo. Jezebel Arredondo. Maybelline Gutierrez. Ruth Moya. Anna Zapata. Karen Luque. Shantika Harvin. Jatasia Williams. Edvard Mabo. Madeleine Gamelli. Andrea Miller. Yana Amonte Christina Freer <laughs> Natasha Arias Naomi Hines. Valine Samuels.
Juan LeBron Suriel. Kenya Palacios. Candino Rochez Caballero. Daisy Colon. Marilyn Nebas. Karen Richard. Fatumatu Conde. Marie Louise Charles Alcid. Roberto Leon. Milagros Roman. Monica Correa. Jose Polanco. Jennifer Garcia. Yaritza Kelly Jimenez. Sanaba Kaba. Nadia Dawkins. Daisy McFarlane. Karen Lindsay. Michael Harris. Ruth Fandal. Ida and Dow. Monette Isaac. Marlene Rodriguez Anderson. Brandon Grant. Hemraj Ram Samaj. Angel Valley the third. Ismael Nunez. Yabade Williams. Chan Lee. Sabin Maharjan. Christina Oliveres. Tikwa Yuri Dreher. Corpe Joyce. Catherine Ogbona. Christiana Bolton. Martina Aboje. Walden Anderson. Shantanae Young. Jasmine Acosta. Jose D. Rodriguez. Mario Marizalda. Alton Mitchell. Igenis Chibo. Rosa Rodriguez. Ernesto Castillo. Rosa Castillo. Dennis Flores. 
Darian Concepcion. Carol Barreto. Shoshana Smith. Shara Richards. Stephanie Davis. Lisette Quinones. Saul De Jesus. Justine Maldonado. Johanny Dixon. Isabel Galan. Gabrielle Garcia. Eileen Gonzalez. Emmanuel Roderick. Theophilus Bompe. Linda Kiermatang. Charlotte Sawyer. Aisha Dipe. <laughs> Tania Rosha. President Barat Joseph, on behalf of the faculty of Bronx Community College, I have the honor of presenting the candidates for the degree for the class of August 2013, January 2014, and June 2014. Will the candidates for the Associate in Arts degree stand and remain standing? You're, you're all standing. <laughs> President Barat Joseph, I present to you the candidates who have fulfilled all the requirements for their respective degrees and certificates. And now, I have the privilege of recommending that you confer their degrees upon them. Thank you, Vice President Schrader. Pursuant to the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, whose members constitute the governing body of the City University of New York, and by the Regents of the State University of New York, and on the recommendations of the faculty of this college, I now confer upon each of you the degree and or certificate for which you have been recommended. Together with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto belonging, in testimony thereof you will receive a diploma bearing the seal of the Bronx Community College signed by the appropriate offices of the Board of Trustees the City University, and the college. As graduates, you may now move your tassels from right to left in recognition of your entrance into the academic community. I invite the audience 
to give the graduating class of 2014 the recognition they so richly deserve. Guess what? We have completed our commencement exercise. So now, we request that all guests remain in their seats. The platform guests will leave the dais followed by the students. Faculty, please applaud the students as they pass by you. They are symbols of your accomplishments. You are all invited, for those of you who like to eat, <laughs> to celebrate with us. We're going to be in the Colston lower level. President? Thank you all for coming. Congratulations. <laughs>